Hey what's up everyone, it's Phil Meyer. Final Fantasy XIV's collab with Fall Guys is running now until the end of 2023. This is one of the wackiest collaborations I've seen in Final Fantasy XIV. It gives you an opportunity to earn a lot of different rewards. Details on those will be later in the video. If you want to take part in the event, you need to be able to reach the Gold Saucer. To do that, you need to be at least level 15 and have unlocked airship travel. If you need more detail on how to reach the Gold Saucer, check out a previous video of mine, which is linked in this video's description. To get started, you'll need to find Lowena in the Gold Saucer entrance square. She'll offer you the quest called Just Crowning Around, which will serve to unlock the event. You'll get directed to Wonder Square, which will get you entry to the new Blunderville Square area in the Gold Saucer. Scoping out the new area, there are a couple things to know. On one side of the square, you can find the Blunderville Registrar. Talk to the Registrar and sign up to play the Blunderville courses. You can register solo or sign up with a group of friends that you might want to compete with. Competing in courses will earn you MGF or Manderville Gold Saucer fame points, along with regular Gold Saucer points. You will earn points just by competing in each round, but finishing will earn you more. You can talk with the MGF trader on the opposite side of the square to trade in your points for prizes as well as see your current balance. Alright, let's talk about these courses. Each registration will sign you up for a game consisting of three elimination rounds. Right now there are a total of five courses that you can play through. Round one will be either Gentle Beans Fever or Mandeville Can Parade. Both of these are linear obstacle course races. If you don't reach the end before enough other players, you'll be cut and eliminated from the game. The round two course will either be Saucery Siege or the Gold Swiveller. Both of these work a little differently. In Saucery Siege, you'll need to carry the colored crystals from the center to the matching colored goal on one side of the course. Once you've dropped your crystal off, return back to the center to pick up another crystal, its color will be chosen at random. You'll need to deliver all three crystals before enough other players, or again you'll be eliminated from the game. Round 2 could also be the Gold Swiveller. Now this is a lap based obstacle course. It's not about reaching the end before other players, it's about not being eliminated first. Typhon, located in the center of the stage, will be shooting out wind blasts. If you're caught in one of these blasts, you'll get knocked off the course. As you keep making progress on each lap, the course will get harder and harder. So remember, it's not about being in the lead, it's about making sure you don't fall off. Finally, round 3 will always be Manderville Mountain. This is another race to the end, but the catch is that only one person can win this race. There are four different in-game achievements you can unlock by playing these courses. They all involve being first place. The final achievement comes with a title and unlocks after winning 100 races. I know for sure that's one I won't be able to get. Alright, now let's take a look at some of these prizes. In the video description, there's a link to the official website where you can browse them all. There's a collection of home furnishing items if you're interested in decorating your in-game home like an obstacle course. There are two different minions, Peguin and Pink Bean, which is my favorite of the two. The orchestrion scroll plays the background music that you'll hear in the gold saucer, Blunderville Square. The victory reveal emote is one of the first items I picked. The mechanical rhino mount is sure to stand out wherever you go. You can also get three full frame kit sets for your adventurer plate. There's a multi-piece collection of wearable items. All of these can be dyed a color of your choosing independently. They also can and should be stored in an armoire, which will make them accessible as glamours. I like the parka in particular as it also glows in dim lighting. There are also a handful of dyes and miscellaneous other items that you can purchase, but I recommend picking these up only if you've already picked up the other unique items. Alright, just some final thoughts. I have yet to play Fall Guys, so I can't really comment on the accuracy of the crossover, but for the event itself, I'm finding it pretty fun. It offers an interesting diversion from the rest of the game, and for people who are fans of the Gold Saucer games in general, I'm sure this is going to be a hit. Even though this is a limited time event, the game's official site mentions that it may come back periodically at irregular intervals. In my opinion, it could be primed to add some additional courses in the future, but I guess we'll see what happens with that. 
Alright everyone, like usual, thank you for watching the video, and if you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that like button on your way out. I'd really appreciate it. Take care everybody.